Hello everyone and welcome back to Varal Banda. So guys, as I told you that I will come up with another video in which I will show you the full review of Havoc OS 3.0 GSI. So in my last video, I've shown you how to install Havoc OS 3.0 GSI on Realme 3 Pro. Now in this video, I'm gonna review it fully and completely. So guys, after installing the Havoc OS 3.0 GSI, this is how it looks in the About Phone section. Android version 10, Havoc OS version 3.0. As you can see, the Easter egg of Android 10. And guys, security patch level is of December 5. As you can see here and the build date is Sunday December 15 so that was a build date so guys uh, right now I'm using a custom launcher which is called EV launcher with one UI icon pack so this is not how it looks like when you boot it for the first time and uh, right now I have applied the dark theme here the black theme so customization is on the board on this room so we will discuss about every feature and the bugs in this room and we will check if this room is usable as a daily driver or not so let us start so guys i'll call the gsi as roam sometimes so don't get confused this is a gsi let's start by moving into the settings application so just drop down the status bar and then click on the settings icon so we will launch it into the settings so this is the setting dark theme is applied and looking sexy and beautiful so now let's uh, start by moving to the um uh, configuration center so here is configuration center and uh, first of all there is status bar click on status bar and then here we can customize the status bar settings status bar look custom logo clock and date brightness control double tap to sleep network traffic indicators and um, much more here so double tap to sleep also works here on the status bar so uh, network traffic monitors also working no issue we can also customize the battery icon the carrier label and battery text so there is much more to customize about the status bar and everything is working here so there are different battery icon styles like circle circle dotted circle filled and hidden you can also hide the battery icon and battery text and you can enable the HD icon instead of Volti and 4G icon instead of LTE. So yes, as I told you, status bar customization is there. You can customize the status bar as you want. Next on the list is quick settings. So from here, you can enable the quick setting custom um, uh, animations and the custom header from here. You can add the header image. You can change the quick setting icon style and you yes you can also add animation to it so next on the list is the screen you can disable the use framework value option from here and change the padding according to the corners of the status bar because it will overlap sometime so you can change according to your need and the next on the list is ambient display so guys ambient display option is uh not working by default but don't worry we have a fix for that i found a fix and i'll provide a flashable fix for that so the link will be in the description i will show you how to fix that later in the video keep watching so ambient display is not working right now but we will fix it so next is buttons so guys from buttons we can enable the advanced boot option and other option like screenshot screen record flashlight lockdown etc and also uh, enable the advanced boot on the lock screen and you can also customize the button actions like uh, you can use volume rockets to unlock the device you can also customize the navigation bar button actions and more in the gestures you will get this uh, typical option jump to camera which is available in almost every room and every gsi in system navigation you can see three options like two button navigation three button navigation and gesture navigation so this is two button navigation this is three button navigation and this is gesture navigation so android 10 navigation is here you can swipe from left edge or right edge to go back and swipe up on the home button to open the recent or simply click on the home button home button is in, in the form of a, a slash bar in the bottom you can choose between compact, left leaning, right leaning layouts and also you can invert the layout or the buttons or you can swap the buttons from here. So navigation customization is also here. Now let's go back and check the next option which is a uh, lock screen. So you can customize lock screen, you can double tap to sleep, enable double tap to sleep. You can choose to disable the status bar on the lock screen and also you can enable the charging information and charging animation. So there is also a charging animation with this GSI. In the animations you can customize the animation effects and also the timing or the duration of the animation from here you can change the quick setting tile animation like flip so how, this is how the flip looks like and you can customize overall system animations from here and also the duration of the animations so uh, now let's go back and check what's next so here is battery saving in battery saving you can suspend action you can uh, apply all the battery saving tweaks and next is uh, miscellaneous in miscellaneous you will get the gaming mode and rest is useless so this was the havoc 
custom settings that is the main thing in this gsi now let me show you what's not working like what are the bugs and issues in this room so guys the first thing i'm going to check is the volty so there is no volty icon on the status bar and right now i'm trying to call from the geo sim but the call is just dropping out like uh, geo sim is not working with volty from here but uh, lt is working 4g is working but no volty is available in this gsi i tried volty patch volty fix in the realme 3 uh, pro uh, telegram channel i found a fix for volty but that doesn't work uh, so we can say that we cannot fix volty in this one while calling from other networks like idea is working but right now in my city or in my area idea is having some network issues like the servers are down all of my idea sims are like down so i cannot show you the idea calling right now uh, but it is working calling from other sims are working also wi-fi hotspot also working i have tested both and both are working hotspot and wi-fi both now let's check bluetooth so guys bluetooth was working like we can connect to a bluetooth device we can share uh, between two phones using bluetooth but bluetooth media is not working we cannot hear the output from the bluetooth device but calls are working using bluetooth when we call using a bluetooth device then we can hear the output from the bluetooth device but the media output is not working via bluetooth so we can say that bluetooth is partially working i tried to fix using the magisk module for bluetooth fixing in the realme 3 pro but that also failed now guys let me show you how to fix aod or always on display on this one so we have to install a custom magisk module that i will be providing in the description you can download it from the description then just go to the magisk click on modules click on plus icon and then select this module and after installing this module just reboot then guys after rebooting we can check that the always on display started working and it is working fine there is no issue with this now just click on the log button and then always on display pops up so we have fixed always on display now let's move back to the settings so in settings we will move to the display settings here and in display settings we can see the options like brightness level night light so uh, night light is working as you can see the display gone yellowish it is working you can choose or calibrate the display colors from here like boosted saturated and adaptive now let's go back and there is options like um display size you can change the display size the font size you can also enable display cutout options you can hide the status bar hide the notch change the device theme from light to dark like this or dark to light and also you can uh, change the accent colors from here there are too many accent color options like you can see here uh, right now i have applied the white and black theme we can also change the icon shapes for the quick setting tiles and the app drawer from here and we can change the font style so there are not so many fonts available but there are selective fonts available you can choose between them and change the icon style you can customize your uh, device fully from the display settings like this guys in security option there is no fingerprint option available for this one so we cannot set any fingerprint because fingerprint is not working in this one and also we cannot set the face unlock feature from smart lock because it is disabled by the android 10 a policy i heard from someone that uh, android 10 will not include the face lock so we cannot enable face lock we cannot use the um, fingerprint sensor so, so we can see that there is no biometric security available but yes you can use your passcode or password locks or pin locks but sorry no face lock no fingerprint lock guys if i talk about the battery backup then this one can provide you about six to seven hour of battery backup with about 30 minutes or one hour of pubg gameplay so guys this was the full review of havoc os 3.0 gsi with bugs like fingerprint sensor volty and the face lock so if you like it please give it a thumbs up